So why did we think about looking at gait and dementia? Well, gait often appears as an automatic function, but actually it requires complex cognitive processes. So when a person begins to experience cognitive impairment, they may also experience gait impairments. And that research has actually shown that gait impairments occur prior to onset of dementia. So for example, a person may experience their walking slowing down or their steps shortening in the years prior to them developing cognitive problems. And as such, gait appears to be a red flag for dementia diagnosis. However, dementia is not one size fits all. We know that there's many different types of dementia and with dementia, they all come with different needs and different prognosis. So it's really important that we get the right type of diagnosis for people. And we've seen that gait, discrete gait characteristics are actually associated with specific cognitive domains. For example, a person with attentional or executive dysfunction may walk slowly and they may have shorter steps, while a person who's got a significant memory impairment would actually take longer to take a step or take less steps per minute. And so we wanted to know, did people with different types of dementia have unique signatures of gait impairment that reflected their different cognitive profiles? And in this way, could gait be a useful supportive marker of what type of dementia a person has?